This is your boy Neil Britella back with another road video. It's been a minute, man. I haven't done a video in a while. I've been sick since Thanksgiving. I guess it's a flu, a bug that's passing around because I wasn't the only person who got sick. And um, I didn't have the energy to do a video. And I'm not going to be doing videos like this for basically a whole month. Why? Because it is crunch time. And um, that's what I want to talk about in this video as well. The post office, you already know, is Christmas time, it's the holiday season, so I'm not going to be able to do videos like I usually do. Maybe the weekend, if I'm really up to it, but since I've been sick, I have not had any energy to do anything. So, um, yeah, basically, just trying to get my energy up just to do work. And they might be calling me in sometimes on the weekend just to work, which is my day only day off to, t to really get rest. And they like they just want to work you to death. So basically, whenever I get a chance to put up a video, you guys just keep tabs on that. I hope that you guys are subscribed to my page, and I hope that you continue to watch videos. If you have a lot of videos, I have so much videos on my archive that you guys could watch if you haven't watched already. And um, leave your comments in the comment section below. I appreciate it. At least I know my you know my channel is still active. Um, I have been going through a lot of different things as well. Just trying to get my energy right. Um, I was eating meat for a couple of months. I went I went on a break from stop eating meat for like five years, and then I went back to eating meat again. And this was around the time when I started being in a relationship and you know it slowed me down I realized like you know I gotta be on top of my health man and I think I would start doing videos about health and food even though I know that's not really my topic but since I had a negative experience about it you know I think I should start talking about it as well on my channel um you guys probably who are health conscious would tell me the same thing like nigga you're not supposed to eat meat you should know better than that but hey man the the taste of general twist chicken never leaves your body <laughs> i'm just telling you that right now but um yeah i started back eating fruits so my energy is very much higher than it was before and i noticed that you know i went to a whole nother spiritual level in my spiritual growth because um I'm, I'm, I'm on a different level as far as speaking in tongues, man. And I know for my people who have the Holy Spirit, who believe in Jesus Christ, you know what I'm talking about, especially if you've been speaking in tongues for a majority of your life. Um, there's different levels. The, I think the first level is you start to speak in tongues, but you don't know how to interpret it. Then you get to a level where you start to hear the interpretation or you hear the spirit speaking about in English specifically what you need to pray for, who you need to pray for, but you're speaking in tongues. And, and you're hearing all of this while speaking in tongues. So that's the level I'm on right now. Um, speaking in tongues and, and hearing the interpretations of speaking in tongues or hearing the spirit telling me specifically who I'm praying for and what I'm praying for. So interpretation is the next level. And I got to that level based on submission. Now, everybody's experience is going to be different. So I don't want to just say my experience is the only experience. I just want to you guys who do have an experience with the Holy Spirit to leave your comments in the comment section below. And let me know what was your experience, your first experience with speaking in tongues. Because speaking in tongues is a very powerful thing. It isn't high. How you doing? Hey, what's up? All right. You know, it isn't high. Um, it's a spiritual high, by the way. I think I might name this title spiritual high. Um, when you speak in tongues, you feel it in your body. You feel the, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in the pit of your stomach. And it's like, like rivers of flowing water. And there's a warmness to it. You know, um, a lot of people have experienced that. I've experienced that. And uh, I just want you guys 
to share your experiences on this platform as well. If you have experienced that, and if it's your, it is your first time, let me know. But um, that's the level I'm on. And you got to get in the place of... <clears throat> give me a second. Still fighting that cold, but... Uh, you got to get into a place of submission. Now, that word is a very dangerous word in these days now because you got feminism, you got the Me Too movement, you got all this um, equal rights bullshit going on. So um, it's very hard for brothers and sisters to understand that word. But I, I just wanted to break it down from a biblical understanding of submit. Submitting, we think that we gotta not submit, we gotta rebel in order to get power. Now there's a time and place for everything. See, when you're dealing with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit wants submission. He wants your undivided attention. He wants your, he wants your soul, he wants your mind, he wants your body, he wants everything. That's total submission. Now this levels to submission. Because for me, when I first started on this path, I was praying while standing up. I was praying while laying on my bed, but I would never pray while on my knees. It would be rare occasions that I would pray while being on my knees. You understand? Because I felt that I was too great for that. I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of pride. And, and God, as he started working with me, he started breaking down this pride in me. He started to show me, like, if you want to go to the next level, Neil, you got to let go of the pride. You know, you feeling that you're a God, you got to let go of that concept. I'm God. And if you want to have everlasting life, you must deny yourself. So once I started learning how to deny my desires, gradually letting go of this world, and everything that I desire in this world, desiring to fit in, desiring to be acknowledged, desiring admiration, all those different things. And just coming to God pure of heart. That's when I started activating these gifts like speaking in tongues and interpretations. So when you probably, let's say you're a beginner, you never had Christ in your life. You might, if you come to God with a sincerity, purity of heart. God by his will, right? He might make you start speaking in tongues right then and there. Because even in the Bible, it says when the Holy Spirit came upon the Gentiles, they were speaking in unknown tongues. So that could happen automatically. Sometimes it may not. It's not that, you see, Holy Spirit is spontaneous. You don't have to be rigid like, oh my gosh, because I got the Holy Spirit, I'm automatically going to start speaking in tongues. It's so much work that each individual has to experience or each individual has to go through in their own journey with God. You see, being with the Holy Spirit or having the Holy Spirit is a personal relationship. It has nothing to do with church. It has nothing to do with religion. It's a personal walk. So in my personal walk, even though I got baptized, I, expect, I accepted the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, I wasn't speaking in tongues right away. I started speaking in tongues right after I started leaving my pop's house. And that was so many years later down the road because I was I was baptized in my earlier 20s. Feel what I'm saying like probably 21 is when I got baptized. I'm 29. So think about how many years have passed since then. And I wasn't speaking in tongues, but I had the Holy Spirit, even though I wasn't going to church. I wasn't believing in Jesus Christ. I wasn't. I was dealing with the occult, but the Holy Spirit was with me the whole entire time. He was protecting me from a lot of dangerous things because a lot of people get caught up in the occult and then they lose their lives. I know people personally who have lost their lives dealing with this occult shit. So I'm just telling y'all, there's levels to the dark side, there's levels to the light side. People who deal with Christ and have the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues, they'll tell you, Sometimes they, they got it automatically off the bat because based on their level of submission. See, this is something that the Spirit revealed to me while in meditation. Like, the more I submit, 
the more he's going to reveal. Even my out of body experiences went to a whole nother level because I've started to learn how to submit my will to God. I don't control the out of body experience. He controls it. So, but it's more, it's more genuine, it's more authentic. And I, I could come back and tell, still tell you every single detail of the experience and document it in these videos. You understand? So if you brothers and sisters want to grow, you got to learn how to fast. You got to learn how to be self-disciplined. The reason why I want to talk about fruits and eating healthy in my, in, on my channel is because that's a part of your fasting. You see, I was fasting while still eating unhealthy and that can mess up with your fast i'm just gonna keep it real with y'all and you cannot eat unhealthy foods and fast you gotta purify your body and purify your mind and that means also the foods that you're putting in, in your body has to be able to nourish you and get you and take you to another level alkaline foods if you eat alkaline foods and you're fasting and praying this is where you're going to get to the next level. I'm talking to people who, who have the Holy Spirit, who want to go to the next level in God. You got to take it. You got to stop eating all this McDonald's. You got to stop eating all this KFC. You got to stop eating all this Popeye chicken. I know y'all guys want to eat that Popeye chicken sandwich that everybody's been talking about. I never, ever tasted that sandwich. But just looking at it. And, and seeing how people react to it based on the, the results, that I've, negative results I've seen people fighting over this chicken sandwich. I don't want no parts of it. You don't know what chemicals inside of this shit. You understand? But to each their own. See, you got to detox yourself, man. And since, I'm, since this is the time for the holidays and this is when people get sick the most, this is the time when you need to purge yourself, cleanse yourself, renew yourself for the new year. You know, don't go into the new year with the old energy, with the old mindset. Cleanse your body. I also want to talk about spiritual baths. I haven't done a spiritual bath in a long time. And when I got sick um, earlier this week, I ended up taking a lime bath. And I, it helped me to clean my aura it cleanses it cleanses all that negativity that I was building up over the months, man. Cause I think the last time I took a spiritual bath was early in the year, really like beginning earlier of the year, and I haven't took one since then. So just imagine how much clutter was building up in my aura. You gotta take care of your spiritual hygiene, man. I, I, I gotta say that to y'all brothers and sisters, you know, especially you Christian, you know, Bible thumping niggas. Y'all just feel okay, you know, I got Jesus and got the blood of Jesus, but you don't truly understand how to use the blood of Jesus because you just say, oh, I'm a Christian, so, you know, once saved, always saved, and the devil don't have no power. You keep listening to those stupid pastors tell you that the devil don't have no power. The reason why you can't stop fornicating, the reason why you can't stop masturbating, the reason why you can't stop gambling, the reason why you can't stop smoking is because the devil do have power. You may not have power as, the, as, as much as the most high may have power, but he does have rulership over this planet and, a, and the most high is allowing him to do what he wants to do. So don't be stupid. And this is why I don't subscribe to Christianity. This is why I don't subscribe to any religion or philosophy. My philosophy is the way of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. He said, be as holy as I am holy. He said, to be a disciple of mine, deny yourself. Denying of yourself is self-discipline. You must be self-disciplined. Anything that gives you some type of self-discipline. And I know there's brothers and sisters that may not be into the Bible that may be watching and listening to this video that could take notes from this video. Take whatever you can. Because I'm going to tell you right now, people in the conscious community who don't believe in the Bible, don't follow Jesus Christ. Some of these guys and ladies have much more disciplined lives than a lot of you Christians who believe in Jesus Christ or you Hebrew Israelites who believe in the Torah. They have a much more disciplined life. And the reason why is because 
they they are self-focused you just believe in the stories that your pastor tell you you christian niggas i'm talking to y'all y'all just believe in what the pastor say oh one save all say so we can just live how we want to live no you cannot live how you want to live god requires you to live a sanctified purified life that includes all of us myself included you cannot live how you want to live and think that you're going to gain any results in life Life is not built off of promises just alone. You got to be able to put in the work, you know, and I ain't going to lie, man. I kind of found myself slipping a lot because simple, basic things that I learned in my spiritual growth from since the conscious community, it slipped my mind <laughs> and I had to like retrace my steps with the basics just to get my energy back up to I could do this video. You know, and I want you brothers and sisters to take your spirituality serious, man. I'm not in no organized group. I don't subscribe to any particular religion. I do believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. That's what I believe in. You could call it whatever you want to call it. But my job is to educate brothers and sisters who are seeking the light. Whatever you could get from this video, you know, put, to, put, put a thumbs up on the channel. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Check out my archives. I got a lot of stuff, a lot of testimonials about spiritual topics that you may be going through. And you guys and ladies have a beautiful day. Peace.